Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and are having a great Easter break. It is Easter Sunday and I thought I'd record for you a March must-haves video, so I hope you enjoy. I'm way too hot in this jumper. Right, so I'm gonna say this first before I get too hot. As you can probably tell, I'm in a different place. This is my bedroom in London with my brand new bed and pillows and I'm in love with it. This is where I'm gonna be living next year with Joel when we're married and I love getting to new a new area and it's been so fun to explore. The first set of items I'd like to show you are from a little expedition that we had in the Oxfam and Notting Hill Gate station and I think I got a few smacking deals. If you follow my Instagram account then you might have seen the pictures of the stuff that I bought. So, first of all, I have got a jigsaw jumper with like dog tooth sleeves and just like a black plain front. This was, I think like 10 pounds? I'm not really sure. And then a Burberry shirt, which was 12.99, which I thought was a great deal. Bit of a mishap though, because I, luckily we don't live too far, but I got home and then I realised there was still a tag on the shirt. I was like, oh no, this isn't very good. So I rung up the shop and then went back down to go get the tag out. Luckily they were still open so they were able to do it. But the lady had literally just locked up, so she had to reopen the shop to let me in to get this tag out. But it's out and it's great. This is the top, it's really like basic, I like how it's kind of capped cropped sleeves. I think it's quite an easy going fun shirt. A nice basic to have in the wardrobe and um, such a good quality basic. So I can't be bothered to put my jumper back on. It seems to be quite a theme with this video is it's all about denim and dining. I feel like that's that's probably what I love the most, denim and food. So but here are a pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. They were $9.99. They've got like a um, straight sort of slight flare on the bottom with then some like quirky stitching over the back and front. And I just think they're a really cute, well fitting pair of jeans. I will show you a picture of me wearing them in a second. I have a pair of 501 Levi shorts. These, I always go into charity shops hoping to find Levi shorts because let's be honest, they look great on everyone. So they're always a fight to find. But my little denim shorts. There's a pair of Marc Jacobs. Again, quite a straight, slight flare jeans. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same person that donated them because they're the same size, the same style, let's be honest. Quite a thin chance I can be anyone different. And then next, um, I don't know if you might have watched my What I Eat In A Day video. It's just uploading now. And it says it has 265 minutes remaining. I don't know how true that is, but if it ever gets up, you might have seen these. So this is my little oriental teapot. And I have two like cups that go with it. And I just think they're so fun and so cute. I've been drinking my tea out of this one. So I seem to have three all here but there is a fourth like the bottom one and I just like hug it like you know when it's cold winter day and you like pour yourself a cup of tea you just like to hug it and it makes you warm and happy again and this is definitely how these mugs make me feel and this handle comes off so you can hand wash it don't know if it can go in the dishwasher I doubt it but you can take off the top and then get all of the tea out and it's really nice 
touch that it has a like loose leaf tea filter so you can have both bagged tea and loose tea which I love and these sort of go with them but not really they're kind of blue oriental again but four bowls that are a really great size and in my what I eat in a day video I put my miso soup and what else was it apples miso soup and apples for my breakfast and it's a lovely bowl and they're really cute and they look really nice with the teapot so if you're doing sort of an oriental evening then you can have the tea and you can have these bowls and make it feel more authentic that's the word so that is all of my oriental goodies lastly i have a bowl that has been so let's take you back in time we used to live in another apartment in Marlebin and my sister used to live there and my brother used to live there and an accumulation of everyone's stuff just sort of gathered and I have no idea who this bowl belongs to, if anyone, maybe it just appeared one day, but I love it and it's made its way back to this flat and a really nice metal bowl and it kind of reminds me of a steel drum, you know like in um, like the Caribbean, like you have people playing on these steel drums. I hope it's a steel drum. I will double check that it's a steel drum. I don't really know what to do with it because it's not really an eating bowl and it's not really a serving bowl. It's just sort of a pretty thing. Maybe it's like for like nicks and like little bits that you sort of gather or maybe like a jewelry bowl or a keys bowl. Maybe that's what it's for. So I hope you've enjoyed my March must-haves. And I didn't think I was going to get around to recording this, but when I arrived at the flat and saw all these great things that I'd just forgotten about, I thought, yes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment if you enjoyed the video, or if there's anything else you'd like me to try or show you guys. Lots of love. Bye!